That house next door could soon become two houses next door. It's called Ohana Zoning, originally meant for extended family. Now it could branch out. KITV Force Catherine Cruz has the new information on something many will watch closely. Kaimuki and Foster Village are among the older neighborhoods where Ohana zoning is allowed. Three decades ago, it was thought to be the solution to the need for extended family housing, but the practice was halted after people abused it and were flipping units for a profit. Now, the Honolulu City Council is considering expanding it as a way to help generate more affordable housing. But today, the administration indicated it may craft a bill that allows more neighborhoods to build Ohana units. They may come back to council with legislation that would permit accessible accessory dwelling units across Oahu in all zoning districts. Uh, before we do any of this, even with just the Ohana areas, we also have to ensure that we have the infrastructure and the available sewer capacity. Critics say it's poor planning. Ikaika Anderson says traffic and parking are the biggest complaints. The Ohana proposal caught the ear of Kahala resident James Nicolay. I'd heard about it and uh, I just want to make sure that it's done properly. Nicolay has seen firsthand how illegal vacation rentals are ruining his neighborhood. The people who stay, they're not neighbors. They don't come and answer the door. They don't respect their neighbors. They have no interest in the neighborhood. Uh, they make a lot of noise. They park too many cars. They have too many people. They're disruptive. Anderson has long sought a sensible solution to vacation rentals in his Windward district. He too worries about how legislation will be crafted, but he's willing to advance the idea and hear all sides. Uh, this resolution has a ways to go yet before it gets turned into a bill and is brought back before the city council. So there are many, many more public hearings uh, that are going to be coming up, and there are many more opportunities for the public to testify. Anderson expects the bill could come early next year. Catherine Cruz, KITV 4 News.